Hey everyone, happy Monday. Uh, I'm continuing today in our rhythm and practice of reading the Bible aloud at lunchtime and saying a, saying a prayer. Um, I'm going to be reading from the book of First Peter here, chapter 3 and verses 1 to 7, and I'm reading from the message version of the Bible. This is the word of God. The same goes for wives. Be good wives to your husbands and responsive to their needs. There are husbands who are indifferent to words about God, but will be captivated by your life of holy beauty. What matters is not your outer appearance, the styling of your hair, the jewellery you wear and the cut of your clothes, but your inner disposition. Cultivate inner beauty, the gentle, gracious kind that God delights in. The holy women of old were beautiful that way and were good, loyal wives to their husbands. Sarah, for instance, taking care of Abraham, would address him as my dear husband. You'll be true daughters of Sarah if you do the same, unanxious and unintimidated. The same goes for husbands. Be good husbands to your wives. Honour them, delight in them. As women, they lack some of your advantages. But in this new life of God's grace, you're equals. Treat your wives then as equals so your prayers don't run aground. What a passage. Let's pray. God, will you fill us with your grace so that our relationships reflect the beauty and depth of your love? God, help us by the power of your spirit to see our lives being turned inside out, that our occupation with ourselves would be transformed into love and care and time and attention and devotion to others. I pray, Lord, that your love would be seen and felt in our in our marriages, but that you, this kind of other-centred love and preferring the other would, would characterise all of our friendships, our, our families, our relationships within the church. And I, I pray that in Jesus' name for his glory. Amen.